Hello, this is Miss Kennedy again, your science teacher. And uh, sometimes technology is my friend and sometimes it isn't because I accidentally erased the uh, little short video that I made about my fossil collection. So here we are at my sediments exactly in the classroom redoing what I messed up. Hey, that's what you do. If you mess up, you just have to do it over again. So there are three main types of rocks in the rock cycle, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. And you can find all three types of these rocks in the ocean but we're gonna concentrate on a few of them, but I have examples of all three, and I'll share those with you in a moment. All right, so first off, we have got some limestone. Limestone is a sedimentary rock. Now, all of these samples, by the way, are from the state of Ohio, and if you look, at this sample, it looks a little bit like it's caked mud. That's because that's really what it is. It is caked mud, okay? And if I tilt it sideways, you can see the layers of the mud. Now this formed at the bottom of a warm water ocean many years ago. I found this fossil in Ohio. So you want to think about why would you find a fossil with ocean creatures in it in Ohio? All right, here's another one that you can very clearly see the shells that are embedded. And again, you can see the layers along the side. Here are some more limestone fossils that I found in Ohio. And again, if I get up close, you can see that there are shells embedded almost like concrete. And sometimes this is referred to as a concretion because you have these fossils that are cemented together with the sediments from the bottom of the ocean. So these are all sedimentary rocks. Now this one is a sedimentary rock, but it's kind of unique because this is called a geode. A geode starts out as a ball of mud. And then slowly over time, what happens is these salts and minerals seep into the mud and when they get in the inside they crystallize so you can see these lovely crystals that form on the inside of the geode and it is also a sedimentary rock okay here is another sedimentary rock it's called halite and it looks kind of shiny uh, and I want you to imagine if I took this and I ground it up really, really fine and put it in a salt sh shaker because halite is salt. And if you could taste it, you would know, oh, wow, that's salt. By the way, all salt is sea salt. Um, they say, oh, this salt is better for you because it's sea salt. If you don't have an ocean, then you don't have salt. Think about what Rachel Carson said in that opening chapter about the salts washing into the ocean. So, so far we've had um, all sedimentary rocks. Now, what does an igneous rock look like? All right, this is an igneous rock. It's an iron ore. And this was formed when lava with a very high iron content, think about the core of the earth, think about what Rachel Carson said about the formation of the earth, when that iron uh, solidified into a rock. And you can see on the edge here, that's rust. 
So just like when you have iron at your house that's exposed to the elements, it will rust, so does uh, iron ore. It will also rust. So this is igneous. Now you're probably wondering, well, what about you know metamorphic? Because we do have metamorphic rocks as well. This is one of the things that I always thought was cool about uh, geology and earth science and rocks and minerals. One of these is shale and one of them is slate. Now if I put this one on the side, you can see the layers. This is also formed around water near the ocean. You can see it's just very, very compact layers of mud that have solidified, okay? Now the interesting thing about shale and slate that I found out from my geology teachers in college is that you identify it by the sound it makes. I was like, oh, the sound it makes? And my professor told me, well, shale and slate have a different pitch. So if I take this one and you can hear what it sounds like. And I take this one. This one has a deeper pitch. This one has a higher pitch. One of them is shale. One of them is slate. They look the same. The only difference is the pitch. Hmm, I wonder which one is which. So we will talk more about the rocks that make up the earth and eventually make up the soil in our environmental science class. This has been my sediments exactly. <laughs>